A lot of people in Clearwater still very much on edge at this hour because of those shootings. But the city tonight stressing people are safe. Our Serena Fazan has been talking to city leaders all day and joins us now live with more on that. Hi, Serena. Hi, Linda. And the good news, there is already a plan in place to keep families safe. And everyone that we talked to today, even those caught in the middle of the chaos in the parking lot right next to the Hyatt Regency Spa, feel confident that this is an isolated incident. They were right there at that end of the parking lot. Um, and two of the guys shot up in the air. Collecting cash for parking, Andrew Evans ran for cover, ducking behind a car, watching in horror as a bullet fired from the parking garage of the Hyatt just missed one of his co-workers. He was standing right over here, a bullet ricocheted about six feet away from him. Police say two groups got into a fight around seven last night, a bullet striking one of the men in the hand. He fled and is considered a suspect. Police have two men in custody for the shooting in the parking lot. Right now, they are investigating if it's gang related. We know that there's some gang affiliation with some of the people, but it seems to be more of a personal conflict. But it's not the only shooting they are investigating. 40 minutes later, more gunshots a few blocks down near Frenchie's restaurant on Gulfview. A man hit in the groin is still in the hospital. The uh, one on South Gulfview does not at this time appear to be related to the ones that were in the temporary parking lot and the street north of the Hyatt. And it didn't end there. As police rushed thousands out, another fight broke out on the Memorial Causeway. Police say these two men in a car had illegal firearms and started arguing with another driver. As officials try to sort out what happened, the mayor spoke out, saying while it's several incidents, this is isolated. You can't live in fear. If you do that, then the other guy wins. Uh, we are here for people to enjoy themselves, to feel safe. And it does seem back to normal today, but here's what we can tell you that police, what they are doing to keep you safe. They are beefing up patrols and they're also monitoring social media, looking for any red flags or unusual activity. Reporting live from Clearwater Beach, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.